Express Mode Alignment This touch tip will present an alignment technique developed by Vibraline called the Vertizontal Compound Move, designed to apply the Express Mode method to complete the alignment with as few moves as possible. Two other measurement modes, Tripoint and Clock Method, are described in a separate touch tip. After the tolerances have been set and the required dimensions have been entered, measurements can be taken and any necessary corrections can be made. The screen display shows the dimensions and the position of the sensors and the express mode measurement icon. The shafts and sensors will be rotated to take three readings. All three readings must be taken with the sensors in the green area of the circle of rotation. To take the first reading, rotate the shafts towards 9 o'clock, then touch the measurement icon. The reading takes a few seconds. Next, rotate the shafts back towards the 12 o'clock position, being sure to rotate them into the green area of the circle. Upon remaining stationary for two seconds, the second reading will automatically be taken. Take the final reading by rotating the shafts toward 3 o'clock. The reading is automatically taken and the measurement results displayed. The angle, offsets, and position of the feet are presented for both vertical and horizontal views. The traditional method of performing shaft alignment using either dials or lasers was to loosen and tighten the bolts and take readings for both the horizontal and vertical moves. Vibraline's vertizontal compound move method has greatly simplified this process. We now make the vertical correction from the new vertical shimming screen and only go live to make the horizontal correction. In addition, we only remeasure one time after both corrections have been made. To begin the correction process, touch the shim icon in the lower right corner of the screen. You will be reminded to save the as found data. If you choose to save the data, you will have to touch the folder icon. If saving the initial data is not necessary, touch the shim icon. Now you will see this very explicit shimming screen. If shims need to be added, the arrows will point inward. If shims need to be removed, the arrows will point out. In this case, both front and rear feet are sitting low. Therefore, shims are added equal to the feet values displayed. Eight thousandths are added to the front feet and twenty thousandths to the rear feet. This completes the first half of the vertizontal compound move method. Next, while the bolts are still loose, we go live to make the horizontal adjustment. Touch the Live Move icon in the lower right corner of the screen. Using the bubble level, make sure the sensors are lined up horizontally. The bubble doesn't have to be dead center, just touching either a level line is okay. Then proceed to make the horizontal moves necessary to correct the misalignment. Since the screen is live, the values will change as the corrections are made. The angle and offset icons will turn green and a green check will appear above the coupling when the tolerance levels have been met. Now the bolts can be retightened. Recheck the alignment by touching the remeasure icon and confirming the decision to remeasure. Rotate the sensors and touch the measurement icon to take the first measurement. Rotate the shafts twice more, allowing the system to automatically take the second and third readings. The results screen is automatically presented displaying a successful vertizontal compound move alignment. As presented in this touch tip, the Vibraline vertizontal compound move alignment can often be completed in just one set of moves.